Welcome, treasure seekers. Today we're embarking on a journey to unearth the hidden treasures of dividend investing. Imagine a trove of wealth not buried under the sands of time, but hidden in plain sight within the financial markets. These are the gems of dividend investing, a form of wealth creation that's as old as commerce itself. Like all treasures, it's not the glint of gold that makes them valuable, but their potential to enrich us over time. Dividend investing, with its promise of steady income and capital appreciation, is one such treasure. Its allure lies in its simplicity, its stability, and its potential for long-term growth. But like all treasures, it's not without its perils and pitfalls. So, let's not tarry any longer. The treasure map is spread out before us, the compass is set, and our journey into the fascinating world of dividend investing awaits. So buckle up as we set sail to discover these hidden treasures. Hello viewers, if you are enjoying this content, and you do not want to miss future videos filled with even more tips, tricks, and inspiration, hit that subscribe button now to stay tuned with us, and remember to comment and share. Before we start digging, let's get our tools ready. What exactly is dividend investing? Dividend investing, at its core, is an investment strategy that involves buying shares in companies that regularly pay out dividends. So, what are dividends? They're a portion of a company's profits, handed out to shareholders as a thank you for their trust and investment. Now, not all companies do this. Some prefer to reinvest all their profits back into the business. But those that do often offer a steady stream of income for investors, in addition to any potential capital gains from the shares themselves. Now you might be wondering, why dividends? What role do they play in an investment portfolio? Well, dividends serve two main purposes. First, they provide a regular income. This can be especially appealing to those who are retired or nearing retirement and are looking for a steady cash flow. Second, they can be reinvested to buy more shares, which in turn could potentially earn more dividends. This is what we call compounding, and it can lead to significant growth over time. But it's not all roses and sunshine. Dividend investing has its own jargon that you need to be familiar with. Terms like dividend yield, which is the annual dividend payment divided by the stock's price, or payout ratio, which tells you what portion of the company's earnings is being paid out as dividends. And let's not forget X dividend date, the cutoff date to be eligible for the next dividend payment. Dividend investing isn't a get-rich-quick scheme. It requires patience, discipline, and a keen understanding of the companies you're investing in, but when done right, it can offer a path to steady income and long-term growth. Now that we have our tools, we're ready to start our treasure hunt. We've arrived at our first destination, the Island of Benefits. Here, the treasures of dividend investing shine in all their glory, enticing us with their potential. So, let's start digging. First off, we have income generation. Dividend investing is a fantastic way for investors to create a steady stream of income. Companies distribute dividends regularly, often quarterly, semi-annually, or annually. This means that, as a dividend investor, you can look forward to these payouts as a form of passive income. You're essentially getting paid just for owning the stock. It's like having a golden goose that lays eggs regularly. Next, we come across the potential for reinvestment. When you receive dividends, you can choose to reinvest them by buying more shares of the company. This way, you're not just earning money, but you're also increasing your stake in the company. It's like finding a treasure map within a treasure chest, leading you to even more wealth. Finally, we uncover the most dazzling gem of all, the advantage of compounding. When you reinvest your dividends, you're not just buying more shares. You're also setting yourself up to receive more dividends in the future because you own more shares, and if you reinvest those dividends, you buy even more shares. This cycle, known as compounding, can significantly amplify your wealth over time. It's like a magic gem that multiplies your treasure every time you touch it. But remember, while these benefits are truly enticing, they don't come without risks. Like any investment, dividend investing requires careful research and consideration. It's not a get-rich-quick scheme, but a strategic move for long-term financial growth. These benefits are just the first treasures we've discovered, but there's more to uncover. So grab your shovel and your sense of adventure as we continue our journey through the hidden treasures of dividend investing. Every treasure hunt has its risks, and dividend investing is no different. Just as a brilliant sunrise casts shadows, the allure of steady income from dividend investing too has its dark side. It's critical to understand these potential pitfalls before setting sail on your financial journey. So let's delve into the risks that come with the territory of dividend investing. First off, 
we have the possibility of dividend cuts. Companies are under no obligation to maintain their dividend payouts and can reduce them at any time. If a company's earnings are not sufficient, or if it chooses to reinvest its profits back into the business, dividends can be slashed or even eliminated. This can leave investors high and dry, especially those relying on dividends for a steady stream of income. Next up is market volatility. Just like any other type of investment, dividend stocks are subject to the whims and waves of the market. Economic downturns, geopolitical instability, or industry-specific downturns can cause stock prices to fluctuate, affecting the value of your investment. While dividends can provide some cushion against market downturns, they are not a magic shield that can protect your investment from losses. Finally, we cannot overlook company-specific risks. Every company has its own set of challenges and vulnerabilities. These can range from poor management decisions to disruptive competition or from regulatory changes to technological advancements. Investors must therefore analyze the company's financial health, its competitive position, and its future prospects before investing in its dividend-paying stocks. Remember, dividends are not guaranteed. They are paid out of a company's profits, and if those profits dry up, so can the dividends. It's not all gloom and doom, though. These risks are a part of the investing game, and understanding them is the first step to managing them. In the end, the key is to balance the potential profits with the potential risks. A well-diversified portfolio can help spread the risk and increase the chance of success in your treasure hunt. Understanding these risks enables us to navigate our treasure hunt more wisely. After all, Every skilled treasure hunter knows that the best defense is a good offense. We're now prepared with our map and compass. Let's explore some strategies for successful dividend investing. First off, diversification is key. It's like a safety net for your portfolio. By spreading your investments across various sectors, you minimize the risk of any single industry's downturn significantly impacting your returns. Picture it as venturing into different parts of the treasure map rather than betting everything on one spot. It's a prudent approach to keep your investments balanced and resilient. Next up, consider the power of reinvesting dividends. This strategy can significantly accelerate the growth of your wealth over time. When you reinvest your dividends, you're essentially using your earnings to buy more shares in the company. As you acquire more shares, you'll receive even more dividends, which you can then reinvest again. It's like a snowball effect with your wealth growing larger and faster as time passes. Think of it as a treasure that keeps multiplying. Now let's talk about focusing on companies with a history of stable dividends. These are typically mature, well-established companies that have demonstrated a consistent ability to generate profits and return a portion of those profits to shareholders. Investing in these companies can provide a steady stream of income, much like a reliable treasure trove that continues to yield valuables year after year. Another strategy is to look for companies with a low payout ratio. The payout ratio is the percentage of earnings a company pays out as dividends. A low payout ratio often indicates that the company is retaining a significant portion of its earnings for growth. This could potentially lead to higher dividends in the future as the company expands and its profits increase. It's like a treasure chest that's only partially open now but promises more riches in the future. Lastly, don't overlook the importance of patience. Successful dividend investing is often a long-term game. It's about allowing your investments to compound over time and resisting the urge to react to short-term market fluctuations. Remember, treasure hunts are rarely sprints. They're more often marathons. And there you have it, some proven strategies for successful dividend investing. Diversification reinvesting dividends, focusing on stable dividend companies, looking for low payout ratios, and practicing patience. Like any skilled treasure hunter, you'll need to adapt and adjust these strategies based on your personal financial goals and market conditions. But remember, the most successful investors are those who remain disciplined, stick to their strategies, and keep their eyes on the prize. So gear up, trust your map, and enjoy the journey. After all, the thrill of the hunt is part of the treasure. Implementing these strategies can lead us to the most valuable treasures. Let's take a detour and visit the Hall of Fame for successful dividend investors. When we talk about successful dividend investors, it's impossible not to mention Geraldine Weiss. Dubbed the Grand Dame of Dividends, Weiss was one of the first women to break into the investment industry. She built her reputation on the back of a simple yet powerful strategy, buying undervalued stocks with a strong history of paying dividends. 
Over four decades, her newsletter, Investment Quality Trends, helped countless investors grow their wealth by focusing on dividends. Then there's the story of John D. Rockefeller. Yes, the same Rockefeller who was once the richest man in the world. What's not often told is his love for dividends. In fact, he is quoted as saying, Do you know the only thing that gives me pleasure? It's to see my dividends coming in. He built his fortune on the back of a company, Standard Oil, which was famous for its generous dividends. Rockefeller understood that dividends were not just an income source, they were a sign of a company's health and profitability. We also have the story of Grace Groner. Her story is a testament to the power of patience in dividend investing. In the early 1930s, she bought three shares of Abbott Laboratories. She never sold them, instead choosing to reinvest the dividends. By the time of her death in 2010, her initial investment of $180 had grown to a whopping $7 million. Her secret? Patience, reinvestment, and dividends. Let's not forget about Ann Scheiber, a retired IRS auditor. She started investing in the late 1940s with just $5,000. She focused on blue-chip companies with solid dividend histories. By the time of her death in 1995, her portfolio was worth a staggering $22 million. The key to her success? A long-term perspective, faith in dividends, and compounding. Last but not least, we have the story of Warren Buffett, arguably the most successful investor of all time. While Buffett is known for his value investing strategy, he's also a big fan of dividends. Many of the companies in his Berkshire Hathaway portfolio are regular dividend payers. Buffett understands that dividends are a tangible return on investment, a steady income stream in good and bad times. These success stories show that the treasures of dividend investing are not just myths, they're real and attainable. The common thread in all these stories is a focus on dividends, patience, and a long-term perspective. These investors understood that dividends are not just a nice bonus, they're a critical part of a company's value proposition and a reliable way to grow wealth over time. Their stories are a testament to the power and potential of dividend investing. As our treasure hunt draws to a close, let's recap what we've discovered. We embarked on this journey diving deep into the hidden treasures of dividend investing. We unearthed the basics, understanding that dividends are a portion of a company's profits paid out to shareholders. They are a way for companies to distribute wealth back to those who have invested in them, a reward for their faith and support. We discovered the numerous benefits of this form of investing, the allure of a steady income stream, the opportunity to reinvest and compound these dividends over time, and the protection they offer against inflation. We also observe the power of dividends in providing a safety net during market downturns as they can provide a consistent income regardless of market conditions. But like any treasure hunt, we encountered risks along the way. We learned about the possibility of companies cutting or eliminating dividends during financial hardships, the danger of high yield traps, and the importance of not letting the promise of dividends overshadow the fundamental strength of a company. Navigating these risks, we unearthed strategies for successful dividend investing. We learned the importance of diversification, of investing in companies with a history of stable dividend payouts, and of the significance of the payout ratio. We also discussed the value of reinvesting dividends for compounded growth. Our journey was illuminated by the real-life success stories of successful dividend investors. We saw how patience, perseverance, and a keen eye for strong dividend-paying companies can lead to substantial wealth accumulation over time. So there you have it, a recap of our treasure-filled adventure. It's a journey that's not without its challenges, but the rewards can be truly remarkable. Remember, the treasures of dividend investing are there for those willing to seek them out. And like any good treasure hunt, the thrill lies in the journey as much as the destination. So here's to your journey. May it be filled with valuable discoveries and bountiful dividends. Thank you for joining us on this treasure hunt. We hope you found the insights shared today enlightening and valuable. If you enjoyed our journey into the realm of dividend investing, do give us a thumbs up and spread the word by sharing this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button too so you won't miss out on our future escapades into the world of finance and investing. We have more exciting topics lined up. Till our next adventure, keep seeking those treasures.